This is a Podco original. And we went to Bucky's. Bucky's! Bucky's is a staple experience that you have to have here in Texas. You don't just go to Bucky's for gas, you go for a quality of life. Quete, do I look foolish? Baby, I'm taking you to Bucky's. Bucky's Hall! Bucky's Hall! But then all of a sudden we hear new brisket on the board. I think that's a problem you had in your mouth. <laughs> you could your Listen, money. I'm done. I'm done. There's nothing like it. You have to go to Bucky's. Oh my goodness. We're here and I just spilled my coffee all over our beautiful white. <laughs> it looks like a dog took a <sighs> and, and on that carpet and we don't have a dog. Which really <laughs> me off. We bought this carpet and it's we- a cute little shag carpet and it's cozy and you know, it's not the most expensive carpet in the world, but I, I've, I've grown attached to this carpet. <laughs> what do you think of the carpet? I've grown accustomed to your carpet face. Um, <laughs> if you're a musical theater per- person, you... What is that, that one? I've grown accustomed to her face. Funny girl? Oh, I love the funny girl. Maybe I'm wrong. Would you ever... W- you're too pretty, right? Funny girl's like, you have to be like adorable. No, that's what I always say. I'm too pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're too pretty. <laughs> then you're, you're so sweet. I like believe you when you say that. But... But Eddie, but who 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 can do Funny Girl? That's the question, right? Mm-hmm. Who do you think was the best? Oh, well, Barbie Streisand. Barbie Streisand. The girl who's doing it now. I love that we're just randomly talking about Funny Girl. The girl who's <laughs> like, oh, well, all roads lead to musical theater. <laughs> Why? Because it's safe. It's safe. The girl who's doing it now, the tour is great. She's great. I don't even know what's touring. How do you know what's touring and what's oh, not? Oh, only because like there's post. I live in Studio City. There's posters yeah. everywhere. Oh, and my address oh. is. <laughs> Still, I'm re- I just want to go back to how f- disappointed in myself i am that i, know, I spilled we did it we were right here we we're ready to go i was really excited and then i'm like oh we got the lights just right we're doing this whole like fun yeah. pink yeah. you know big names in studio again very excited about that yes we're very excited about that yeah big names <laughs> yeah i love it um, um and you are here austin texas you've come to be here be Lee. weird right be That's weird the- do you, do you find it to be weird? I do. I find just uh, weird in like the best way. You know, weird's a great word. I I, I always hate when people say like, oh, I'm so weird. You know, you're like, if you have to say it to people, if you're like, oh, sorry, I'm so weird. It's like, you're actually not, you're not weird. You know what I'm saying? You know that girl. This goes back to funny girl. I'm just so unique. <laughs> I'm so I'm adorable. So, yeah. Wait, yeah, can yeah. we talk about the fact that Zoe Deschanel hit on my husband at Starbucks? What? Recently? No. Mm-hmm. Wait, I'm, recently. I'm, I've been with you for a while now. What are you talking about? Nobody told me this. <laughs> Brendan, Hello. <laughs> Yeah, I guess he was worried maybe about it getting around. Uh, yeah, the right. rumors starting and it being in the paper. This was before she was married. Obviously, I think even married to um, uh, the dude from HGTV, like one of those tall twin guys. Oh, yes, yes. The brothers. Smash or pass? The guys? Yeah. Just because they're tall doesn't mean they're hot. Well, I think they're good guys. We talked about this last night in the hot tub. Oh, we did. <laughs> we did. Oh, I love hanging out with you in the hot tub. I know it is fun. Hot tub. <sighs> hot tub. In the hot tub. <laughs> the, the that almost, to a yeah, hot tub. I know. We almost went there. <laughs> Same minds. I love hanging out with you. I love, oh. I know really in the, the jacuzzi though, it's something special with that view and yeah, we do our this. seltzer waters. It's so crazy. Yeah. Is that the time when you're like, I wish I could have a drink? I mean, there's always a time, right? Yeah. Well, you're like, th- that would be a time that's like my love a margarita in that yeah. jacuzzi or something also it's yeah. hot as f- you want something cold yes exactly but like every now and then i'm like a dry drunk you know what i mean I'm yeah like, mm, Wait, drinks so would be good right now you just told me about that mm-hmm. what drunk. is a dry drunk i mean oh gosh i hope my sponsor doesn't kill me but it's somebody who's like g- gripping gripping to not being able to have a drink somebody who's upset and angry and not quite over it hasn't accepted that they have an allergy and that it's not an option anymore that it, all roads lead to misery it's like oh. it's like hoping not that's, drinking that's, not that's drinking me. but that's being, me a lot of times yeah you're dry but you're still a drunk meaning you still haven't figured out your issues you still haven't gone oh, to therapy wow. that that the, yeah that the I think problem so wa- many people are like that too like most people right. are dry drunks because that's the humor that we saw in the place that we're going to talk about soon. Yes. Okay. You want to intro us into that? <laughs> and we went to Bucky's. Bucky's. Bucky's is all over Texas. It is an institution, but it is like there's nothing like it. You have to go to Bucky's. We have Bucky's. Ready? It's raining. Come along. Bucky's is a, a, a staple experience that you have to have here in Texas. So far, I'm very impressed. We have to get beaver nuggets. We're going to get a lot of looks. Okay. It's going to be awkward, but you're okay with that. Okay. And you all 
Like We're definitely hours. getting some five hours. <laughs> Look at their merch though. Like it's very cute merch. Look, they have a Stanley Cup. Cozy this is. We haven't even walked through the door, you guys. Yeah, we haven't even entered yet. Okay, all right, let's oh. go. Okay, so let's talk about our first impressions of Bucky's. Well, first of all, I walked into the store and I'm like, what the hell is this? What is Bucky's, right? Because it's kind of an amalgamation of Walmart slash, not tar Target, but like Walmart slash Alpha Beta. That's for you old folks. Slash, I want to say Cracker Barrel. Have you ever been to a Cracker Barrel? It really reminded me of that. It was like, and I just felt like Cal and Brendan were like, just get the essentials. And immediately we walk into this insane store <laughs> and I grab a tent and I'm like, what? Am I at REI? Yeah. And right next to that was, what is that caramel corn? That Bucky's Oh, the beaver nuggets. The beaver nuggets. I'm like, beaver nuggets and tents. I oh, mean, my God. Okay, let's go camping. <laughs> we did a poll before we went there, and every single person was like, get those beaver nuggets. Yes. Get those. Well, we show up, and there's like 20 different, maybe like eight different flavors of beaver nuggets that you could get. Obviously need one of these, probably one of each. Help me with this. Ow. Let's walk away wow. from the alcohol and go to the camping gear. Beaver nuggets. Found oh, them. those are the beaver nuggets. Found the beaver nuggets. Okay, get the beaver nuggets. Okay, one or two, just one. I'm gonna go with the original because that's what they told us to get. And I think I'm gonna get cinnamon and sweet. You're allowed to eat inside of a, um, inside of a grocery I think store. So. As long as you pay for it, yeah. you're gonna be fine. Mm. These oh. smell really good. Okay. Those are good. I like them. But we are walking and I find a fishing pole that children can use. Basically, it was in the camping section. So that makes sense. Oh, I got those cool things too. So I pick up a fishing pole. You got to say fishing pole. A fishing and pole. And like, mind you, as soon as we walked in the store, we had accents. Of all the things we do together, I think we really let our freak flag fly when I, we were at I Bucky's. Know. I know. I'm like, I was proud of us. Do people think? People but, liked us, though. Oh, you do? Oh, you I think felt so? very, it was very inclusive, the yeah. experience. Yeah. I mean, well, so what did we buy? So I get a fishing yeah. pole. It has pokies on it. Two of the pokies are for hot dogs. Two of the other pokies in the picture are for marshmallows. You can get your entree and your dessert at the same time because kids don't like to wait. Yeah. It's a genius thing. And learn I how wish... to fish. They get to learn how to fish at the same time. Exactly. Right? I mean, that's just sh straight up logic. So then there were these really cool pine cones. Do you remember my pine cones I got? I was really excited about the pine cones. I thought they were a little stupid, especially so far away from Christmas, but that's my truth. They have pine cones you could put in the fireplace and they turn different colors. I guarantee you'll throw them out tomorrow. I'm not a... If you know anything about my house because you've been staying with me as you know I don't throw out Well, that's not true. Thank you. You, you, you literally were... don't open a closet. But I try, <laughs> I, felt, I felt an energy in there. I did feel an energy. Like the people there were just so, really so kind. Like you don't just go to Bucky's for gas. You go for a quality of life. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we were like making up little games for ourselves. I love though, that too. For, it's playful. Yeah, totally. It's the way it should I be. I got these gorgeous like pants from Thailand, a.k.a. Bucky's. I they think. weren't made in America? I don't know if they were. Maybe they were. Actually, that's a good question to, to know. But um, I've already gotten two compliments. I was them. there. I've literally witnessed her. Like like individuals, multiple individuals, have called upon her to ask me where I got these pants. As I'm an like, influencer. Bucky's. Yeah, where did you get those pants? Bucky's? It's like, where did you get those pants? Shell gas station? Arco. I got these pants at Arco. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Oh, you know these? I got these pants at Mobile. <laughs> I, I Mobile. literally think you're going to go back to LA and people are going to ask you about those pants. Oh, yeah, they're great. You, you guys, should be like, some, say something. They're kind of Or bouquets. Like, you should, like, bouquets. Okay. Bouquets. Bouquets. These are cute. I actually really like these. I think we're just going to talk like this for the rest of the day. Do you think it's offensive, Cal? Do you think anyone would know that I'm not really a native from Austin, Texas? No, Cal. Are you kidding? This is an unbelievable accent. Roast hot dogs and marshmallows on a fishing pole. Well, I'm buying that. Magical campfire cones. Aw, toss two or three in. Toss two or three in a well-ignited campfire and then watch a colorful show. Oh. We gotta get this. Totally, I'm Christy. getting it. So we're walking by this massive, massive wall of like Bucky's signature pouches. Oh, I thought you were talking about the trail mix wall. Yes, an that's what we're talking wall about. Nuts. Yeah, just nuts yeah, yeah, the one everywhere. That was, and it was candies and nuts and it, probably even the stuff that was good for you is bad for you. Trail mix. Lots of mixes. Mm -hmm. Many, 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 many mixes. Yeah, A disturbing yeah. amount of mixes. Redundant, I'd say. Redundant. Yeah. Bucky's. I love yeah. you though. Come here, come here. Because everything's made strong at Bucky's. They have basically like every kind of, con not condiment, but what is those? What are these? Snacky foods. These are snackies. I 
any kind but of that's snack crazy. you want. <laughs> Gosh, I could really go for some nuts. Well, again, it's I, I'll very Texas. I'll say, never seen a cleaner bathroom. Oh, you went right. They know that they they actually like, put wow. that in their commercials. I think they should. It's 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 a it is a fabulous establishment. There's really nothing like it. I've never seen it anywhere else. I mean, like you don't get that in L.A. and well, you just don't get the like, hey, how you doing? People don't really care. They don't really want you to ask answer that. Those like, two hey, guys. Those so these two guys poked their heads out and they were like looking at us and they were like, I, I mean, we didn't know if it was just because we looked crazy and we were having so much fun and we were liberated, or if it was because they knew us. I know. And they're super sweet, like mm-hmm. little moles, like from the very shallow aisles that they have. Yes. And they they approach us. And I was just like, I didn't expect it, though. See, that's how the thing. do you feel when people it come is up interesting to you? when people come up to me. I'm so grateful. What do you think? Chrissy sp- turns into a mother and like wants to buy buy them everything. Like <laughs> every fan that came up, she was like, oh, my God, you thank you. Thank you. Do you want this? I'll buy it. Like Chrissy tried to buy a stuffed animal for like a 45 year old man. I was like, he doesn't want this. She's like, Brendan, Brendan, get this stuffed animal. I was like, what? No one asked for this. Chrissy, like, what is happening? She's like, oh, you like me? You know me? Fantastic. OK, whatever you want. I can come to your house and clean for you, too. <laughs> I was like, what's happening, Christy? Like, somebody take a picture with her so she's satisfied and then we can move on, you know? What's wrong with me? I don't know, but it was weird. And Brendan, her... (laughs) I'm going to cry because that's so accurate. Brendan was like, get that for him, get that for him. And Brendan was like, no, man, I'm not going to get the (laughs) beaver. Like, what's happening? I'm so... That's... uh, You get me. You have just cut me to the core. But what do you think that's about? Let's. I want to dissect that. Like, what is that about? I am so... Cute is what it is. It's like buying a bottle of scotch. I am just like the sweetest soul, is what it is. And like, I just love people so much. And people are so mean that when I get any ounce of compassion and like sweetness thrown my way, I am like a ravenous beast. So, like, (laughs) I can't let them leave. I have to keep them there. As she's long like, oh my as God, possible. what do you like me from? <laughs> is it Ren Stevens? Is it Austin Desi with the stars? Is do you want me to do the voice? Do you want me to do the voice? Yeah. Tell me your name. But it's not in an egocentric way. It's, it's not. Like, it's it's not. a human connection. Yes, yes. It's you almost can feel vaguely it. like intimate. It's like an intimate experience. Yeah, I'm like, get a room. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, seriously, I'm like, you guys seem to I, it. You know what's really great, though? The most rewarding thing is when I see um, like people on like comments that are like i met chrissy or i met you too they say the same thing about you Mm -hmm. uh and they were like the sweetest people ever when i met them at the stage door when i met them at a comic-con when i met them at a you know randomly on a sidewalk and it was like to to me i'm not gonna speak for you but i feel like we're very similar even the other folks that i knew who came up with us at disney not to go back to name names (laughs) hillary shia raven those people when i was around if little kids came up to them they were always genuinely very like happy to mm-hmm. be around them and they were appropriate with the kids. And I don't know if it was just our, like the way that we were raised like at Disney at the time, but those fans to us, like really, we have like very special connections with them. Yeah. I think we're, we're like we're, kids. Like we knew they were kids. So there's like a sis, there's like a familial element to it when they come to me. Yeah, absolutely. We grew up together. That's what we always say. Thing they would say, thanks for raising me. And yeah, that no one can ever take that away from us. Like the, when they say iconic, it might sound gross, but it's like we were before social media, before everybody was famous. Like yeah, we were in their homes. We yeah, it's a different kind of iconic. Oh my god, I hope we don't get recognized. Gosh, I hope we don't get recognized. I hope Christy doesn't get recognized. I, I hope we don't get recognized, Christy. Am I right? That'd be horrible if we got recognized in here. <laughs> Do you know who she is? Uh, just don't do that. Yes. yes. Hi. The queen. Are you guys cool with being on our vlog? Sure. We're vlogging. <laughs> We're vlogging. Hi, how are you? Nice how to meet you? you. What's your name? Michael. Michael. Nice to meet you, Michael. What's your name? Hi. Anthony, we're so many. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? What are you guys in Bucky's for? This is our first Bucky's. My first Bucky's experience. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yes. What are you guys getting here? Uh, yeah. Snacks and gas. Any recommendations? Um, have you had beaver nuggets? Everybody with the oh beaver nuggets. Oh my god, Daddy, you guys are obsessed nuggets. with beavers. You guys are horny for with beavers. <laughs> you love beavers so much. Why don't you just have one? <laughs> we should buy them beavers. that. We should buy them that. Did you see Brennan, can we buy them I this? Think, I don't think they need it, Christy, but you're so sweet, right? <laughs> Give them a beaver. Much, and they're like, we really need that. These guys, they're our friends. Oh, Christy's so sweet. Um, right. sorry. Of course, of course. No, not at all. <laughs> you guys are the best. Hey. hey. <laughs> 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 we will, we will. Have 
mine too. To I'll protect her. Yeah. You no, work no, here? Yes. He works here. What's your name? Emilio. Emilio. Hi, nice to meet you. Thanks for letting us barge in and have fun. Yeah, yeah, we're just being silly. We'll tag. I saw you guys when you walked in here. I just didn't want to bother Oh, please bother us. We love being bothered. Yeah. Well, we're bothering you, so. No, you guys are good. We'll have fun. Thank Yay, you. we're having so much fun. Try the biscuit sandwich. We're going to, yeah. We tried beaver order. nuggets and oh, what else? Nuts, nuggets. sugar. We need to do the sugar. We did the pecans. Ice creams. The oh, dark, we did the pecans. The dark, um, the dark chocolate almonds. Ooh. Oh, really do you like them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll have to get those. Okay, we're gonna get the brisket. We put anything on the brisket sandwich. Barbecue sauce, of course. Of course. Of course. Of Texas. Course. <laughs> Yeehaw, baby. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so we move over to the home goods section, and they have these tea towels that are very triggering for folks like us. <laughs> Sorry, I know what you're talking about. Just because it's 10 a.m. doesn't mean you can't drink. Right. It was much more clever than that, I'm sure, right? They rhymed and stuff, but it was like, yeah, yes. very triggering in the sense that they were like, it's cool to drink. Just drink. It's not a big deal. Mostly, I was like, I think <gasps> oh, I remember. I remember one. Um, it's not drinking alone because the dog's here. What? That was it. That was one of them. And we laughed wow, about it. And it was like, did. yes. What? Yeah. yeah. That makes zero sense. Also, I'm like, I feel like this apron is an alcoholic. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this apron hasn't really accepted that they're an alcoholic. They're dry drunk. Yeah. The first step is admitting. <laughs> right. I'm like, yo, the first step whoever is wearing buys that, that apron, apron to a meeting. Yeah, whoever <laughs> bought that apron is like, I have a problem and I don't want to address it. Right. Like, it's but, fine to drink. I, at least I know. But I'm also an the person that, tell everybody. The person that bought you the apron is trying to tell you that you have a problem right <laughs> unless they bought one for themselves too and you guys like hang out cook, and drink and drink it. right yeah, right. yeah like yeah, a paint yeah. and sip or a cook and sip or something yeah. <laughs> misery loves company yeah i thought we make fun of alcoholism like <laughs> you use a wine stopper that's ridiculous <laughs> that's adorable <laughs> I know, right? You go to AA. That's adorable. What's <laughs> another one? I'm not drinking alone if the dog is home. Okay, Chris can't read. It actually it says it it's. One more time? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it is not drinking alone. It's Are you not, drinking alone, honey? It's not drinking alone if the dog is home. But it is, sir. It is. So far, there's a lot of Jesus and a lot of alcohol. Sorry, ma'am, but it is. It just sounds like a real bad excuse to keep drinking, if you ask me. Is this supposed to be funny? <laughs> okay, some of us alcoholics don't think so. Oh, yes, I know right from wrong. Wrong is the fun one. That's this awesome. chick right here has problems. She does. The last thing she said about drinking really f***ed me off. You know, she just, this one is a toxic one, this one. But there's lots of those things. So we were triggered, but we we carried on. We carried on. <laughs> we held each other's hands. Yes. And we walked through the drunken tea towel. Right, yeah. To the candles, to which I was like, you know, I freaked no, out. No, here's what happened. Christy passed by the candles 800 times and said, where are the candles? Where are the candles? It was so annoying. I was like, they're right here. It was so weird. Where are the candles? Where's where the down. candles? Let's see where the candles are. I gotta smell these candles. All Keep right. asking, I swear to God. All I care about. I know, there's a lot of candles. I noticed like different candles on different no, stations. No, no, they have like a whole thing of candles. Oh, but, but they're right here. And they're on the other side. <laughs> they're on the other side a little but bit too, but that's it. they smell so good. Like a home country oh, candles, candles are nice too. That is, that is a, you know, they make it in Fredericksburg, which is not too far from here. I love that for us. I want to smell all of them. We need to smell them. I did not come to Bucky's not to smell the candles, ma'am. No, basically like, I think because every section was so intense, like the nut section and... Yeah, it's a lot. It, right. It's very overwhelming. Uh, very overwhelming. Yeah. The candy section that you thought the candle section would be as extravagant. And it just wasn't. You couldn't accept it. Right. She's like a, a candle slut. I will say you're a candle slut. I, I was like, I've never seen somebody flip out about candles so much. Like, what's happening? When you come to my house, I will pull out two drawers full of Bath and Body Works candles. Ooh, we will be going. That's my. In the fall time. You and I. Really? It's just I that is kind of my dream too to have okay. like ex access to just candles like that. Like so that's like a, a rich person thing. Too. You're that a and peanut butter candle whore too. <laughs> <laughs> I want that in a peanut butter drawer. Yeah, peanut butter? You a like peanut, peanut butter, butter? Like all different peanut butters. I didn't know. I don't have one. I want one. It's but a Do witch. you like nut butters and like yes. regular butters yes. and almond yes. butters? Yes. Like, would, wouldn't that be nice to just open like any kind of spread you want? Yeah. Like any mix of butters or yummy maple butter. Yeah. Anyway, well, we really get off track. <laughs> we do. Yeah. We're looking at the candles. She's yeah. obsessing. We fi yeah. Finally, you realize they're just like kiosks on their own. Yeah. And then I was like, we got to move on. We got to move. We got really because we started to get really exhausted. Um, at that point, I think we were only we knew we were halfway through the store and we knew we had to keep going. We right. had to keep. But then all of a sudden we hear. New brisket on the board. New brisket on the board. Dead animal over here. Chop, 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 
chopping up organs over her. Yep. And so right? I went. I was like, no. But I love a moment. So I was like, what's that? And I go and I like hop over and she she reluctantly follows me because she can smell as the closer we get to the brisket board. And I'm like so excited. I'm like, you got to try brisket. Adeliski, you got to try brisket. You're here. Adeliski. And obviously there's better brisket places. Shout out to Terry Black's. We love Terry Black's in my house. You'll have to have that. Yeah. But this we knew was going to be gas station brisket. But I was still like, you know, we had such a great time, mm-hmm. such a great experience. Mm-hmm. I was like, fuck it. Try the brisket. I had to spit it out. I mean, I definitely was like, chew, chew, chew. But like, God spit. damn you. Look at you. Look at Every time yeah. she tries something new, I'm like, look at I'll her try, go. Oh, I'll try it. So she spits out the brisket. Do they have a song? They should have a song. Bucky's, Bucky's, we don't give a fuckies. We're Bucky's. That's it, Bucky's. guys. <gasps> I found my nuts. Passion. You did. You found your nuts. And you the f- bus for nuts. And I got nuts. You found your nuts. This ain't no regular gas station. This is candy f- lucky. That's what I said. Wow, that does look like damn good brisket. I'm not going to lie. This is the brisket. This is the brisket. This sandwich. is the brisket, you guys. I don't think I can do it. I honestly can't do it. She doesn't want to do it. Yeah, I can't put that in my mouth. I'll do it. Yo, I think I'll I'm turning. It. I'm slowly but surely turning into Chelsea Daniels, aka a vegetarian. That's all right. I'll eat. Oh, I think that's the part you had in your mouth. Ew! <laughs> Ew! That part's been cute. Christy just ate my spit up, y'all. Oh, Christy God. ate my chew up. Oh no, that did. That, that did brought us closer, y'all. I can drink your Slurpee, but I can't chew your meat. Oh. Yeah, you couldn't chew I'm my done. meat. I think you could chew Listen, my meat. Listen, I'm done. I'm done. I think done. you could chew my meat. So we'll try later when we get home. We are standing by a gigantic beaver. I just want to point that out. Hey, I have my Bucky's Hall right here. Get it. Oh, that's right. Get it. Bucky's we'll Hall. Bucky's Hall. Bucky's Hall. Bucky's Hall. Bucky's Hall. So this is one of the things I got. Just a... Just a simple bag, just a simple clutch. Buckies. Buckies. Now that's a beaver for anybody who's confused. It's not a New York City rat. Now you look at this right now. I could care less about football, but somehow I'm in love with that sweatshirt. Football. If you're going to Buckies, you're gonna to want to make sure you get something with football on it. Okay. All right. It's it's lo- it's God football. And, totally. And, Absolutely. And brisket. And big hair. And brisket. Yeah. And brisket. <laughs> what the hell is that? Did you not see me get this? No. What is that? <laughs> it is 12 dino dogs, mini Jurassic treats. You can put a hot dog in there and you can put just a little bit of dough and then your children can go to town. Can I just say, Christy is never going to do that. I am. You're never going to put do it. I'm going to really? email you. I'm going to FaceTime you when really? I do it. I swear. Okay. No, what? my husband is shaking his head off Really? Of the he side. doesn't think she's going to do it either. Interesting. I'm gonna f- I don't know why. I just you feel both. like you're busy. <laughs> like, that would be last on my list. Like, you know what I want you know to do? Because I like to I... fantasize about having a life, okay? Oh, I like honey. to fantasize well, about it. Well, that's intricate. I mean, just you know, get some f- corn dogs and put them on. Would you just eat these beaver nuggets and shut up? Oh, my gosh. Now, I find these okay. <laughs> eat them. Eat, eat them. them. Yeah, these are okay. To me, these are like stale popcorn. Stale popcorn. Yeah, it's like pops. Corn pops. That's no. what it's like. No. Okay, obviously, I got a knockoff of another useless, useless tchotchke. No, I really... Tchotchkes, tchotchkes, we love tchotchkes. We love useless, useless, useless Snacks bag. And it's a big snacks bag. Hashtag promo code. Well, thank God it's a snacks. Otherwise, Buc-ies. you wouldn't have known what's inside. Buc-ies. Am I right? Buc-ies. So, meanwhile, you got one thing. That. I got one thing. Christy walks out with 50 things. Yeah. I understood the assignment and just got the essentials. All right, listen. Speaking of fashion at Bucky's. Fashion. We rochambeaued. Oh, did. we did. We rochambeaued. Who'd have to buy it? What, what did we rochambeau for? Who would not have to not wear this thing? Okay, we, we rochambeaued so Bucky the Beaver's onesie that is current. I think it trends. A lot of people like to wear it. Probably people like to wear it at, um, you know, times of... Uh, Celebration uh-huh. like Halloween, yeah, but it was so comfy, right? You look tail. so. You guys should have seen Christy just walking around in the store with this stupid thing on, pushing a cart. You look so dumb. My favorite part was actually that's when I started saying, <laughs> "Is that Ren Stevens in a beaver costume? Is that the girl from Kim Possible, the voice of Kim Possible in a beaver? What's this for? What's this movie star doing in here? You did look like an absolute. I'm not I lie. did, of course, I did. That was the whole." Point. I thought I wanted you to lose. I wanted you to wear it. We are never that competitive. But it's cozy, right? Actually, I'm obsessed with yeah. it. Okay, so now we did this bet. We did this funny, stupid bet. We were gonna get two of these. There's only one left in the store. So right now, 
We're about to experience what it's like to be uh, a little competitive with each other. I don't know if I like it. But basically, we're playing Rochambeau to who has to put that thing on. And it ain't gonna be me, mother uh, let's okay? see. Let's see. Best out of three. Let's do this. Ready? Listen, you bucky mother uh, It's not gonna be me. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Rochambeau. Right, so ready? it goes one, two, three, boom. Yeah. Right? One, okay. Two, two three. three. Boom. Then, yes. Okay. Oh, sorry. I already know her first one. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, what are they? Rock? Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Hey. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Next oh. one, if I win it, you're wearing the bucky. <laughs> Don't I... look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. You are consensually playing this game right now. Consensually. <laughs> As I don't want to put that thing on. Why? Okay, oh. ready? Yes. One, one two, two, three. Ah! Oh. Oh. oh, plot oh, The plot thickens. Okay, ready? One, two, two three. Ah! That's fine. That's this means fine. She, this has to put this on. I, I don't know, know why. Right it's now. like just like, an outfit what? change. I I don't know what it is. I don't know if I've worn too many costumes in my life, but I just do not want to put that on. I don't I get, shrink from my. Are you just gonna put that on here? That's right, oh, because I'm brave. Are you not gonna go to the bathroom? And I believe in Bucky's. Well, I thought right. she had to go to the bathroom to put that I on. I mean, no. You look so stupid in that. Yours Isn't doesn't look so dead? stupid because you're not wearing it, and I am. Yeah, Beaver Girl. What should we call you? I don't know, Bucky. We call her Beaver Beaver with the munchies. You know what's really sad is that when I was a kid. They used to call me Bucky Beaver. Oh, honey. So this is actually way more triggering that than tracks. you realize. That tracks, me. honey. <gasps> that tracks. I will bite you in your sleep. I love your smile. I thought I was going to win. I really thought I was going to win. I thought that you were going to lose and I was going to win. That is a cute outfit. Can I ask where you got that? I got it at Bucky's. Thank you very, very much got, for asking. Mm -hmm. I got it at Bucky's. You know, what started as a nice little time Ooh, at fudge. Bucky's There's ended up there. as a demoralizing, triggering event from my childhood. It's blowing in the wind. Do I look foolish? No. Okay. It is 2024, so. Is it weird that you're turning me on right now? <laughs> Is it weird that I'm All right, guys, new? this has been great. Let's go now. No, Bucky's That'd has be been great. great. Bye, Bucky's. Bye, oh, Mother Bucky's. Bye, Bucky's. We love you, Bucky's. We love you. Bye. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I didn't even want to take it off. It is a goodbye. Better than your pants, I'd say, because now I can have this forever. My kids immediately wanted to try it on when I got home. I, I really know, love I really, this bag, too. That we I really felt in. like when we drove home, too, and you were in that, that we were like, on a like s real road trip, like we had just been camping and you fell asleep in that outfit. And we were just like, you know, because we had all our snacks. It was yep. so fun. We were because it was a sugar crash from the immense amount of sugar on I the know. beaver nuggets that we. I ate. know, and also the pecans, the candied pecans. So oh, my gosh, yeah. I'm still, I'm addicted to them. I'm still eating. They're so good. Yeah. We had a blast we at Bucky's. Bucky's, shout out to Bucky's. Okay, we forgot about these amazing tops. Oh, those are so freaking cute. Well, we only have one more thing to do. Okay, want to wear them? Let's do it. All right. Wow, you look yeah. good. Oh my gosh, so do you. Oh, this old thing. <laughs> we look like we're like NASCAR like hotties. My look, my boobs have never looked better. Let's go to F1. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? What do you like F1 is Formula One racing. Oh, like NASCAR. Oh, I thought you were talking about tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. So this is big stories. Gather round, children. Gather, <laughs> Gather round. around the fireplace. Gather around the fireplace. We're, we're obviously wearing our fire outfits. <laughs> this twin brother won't talk to his twin brother. Ooh, and they're British, it sounds. Yeah, it seems. we'll see. Cool. Let me start off by saying this happened around the Texas grid failure in mid-late February of 2021. I was here for that. It was insane. I'm sorry, here for what? The Texas there was something called, we call it here, the snowpocalypse. Okay. Now, when you move here... The grid is its own grid. That's why Texas is like, Lone Star, we have our own energy source. Well, guess what? That energy source did not work. Mm. And everyone was left in the middle of the cold and the snow, not being able to get out of their house. It was something that when people ask me where I moved from, I say California. And then I say, I was here for Snowpocalypse. And they're like, oh, you're from California. Oh, you were here for Snowpocalypse. You're cool. <laughs> it was a rite of passage. It was that bad. Let me just say that. But this person says, if it wasn't obvious that I lived in Texas, I'm originally from Ohio. So the cold wasn't a big deal. Okay. My brother had a friend who was getting married in Las Vegas. And months earlier, I was volunteered by my brother and his wife. 
I wasn't working at the time and they thought that I should do it since I wasn't working. This is them house sitting. My brother at the time was working at a, at a body shop you know, that was maybe half an hour away to an hour from this lady's house. And I'm just going to call this lady Jane, not her actual name, but it'll be easier. Anyway, like two weeks before Jane left to go to Vegas to get married, I was told by my brother and sister-in-law that I was house-sitting. I firmly said, no, they just told her, you're house-sitting. My reason was, I don't know them. And if something were to be misplaced by someone, I'd be the one accused of stealing something at this stranger's house. Like, uh, why would you guys just tell me? Okay, well, right? well, weird thought to have, but all right. It right. sounds like so she Jane is the brother anyway. <laughs> Jane, is, Jane is the brother's friend, right? So Jane is the person that was getting married, and I'm guessing that they, they were going as well. Uh-huh. Okay. So I was then pressured by my twin brother... The first day after he had stayed to please house it, I'll give you half the money. Half the money when she's doing the job? That's weird. So I had continued to say no, but my mom was tired of his whining and said, just please do it for me. Now he got the mom involved. Yeah, yeah. I love that she keeps saying my twin, though. I'm wondering what this is leading to. That's interesting. I ended up there for three days or so with no water. (laughs) No, Wait. really, because the pipe the pipes were frozen. Oh, yeah, no. because of the freeze. Oh no, and very little food. Oh no, I would go hours without power. Now that is true because people had power for like a little bit, and then it would go away, and they had no water, no water because it was we were under a boil water notice. Now I think most people are going to read this and be like, "Oh, she's just like complaining." When I tell you this, he left her. In the middle of a FEMA level emergency. Like it was that bad. People were dying. Like that's how bad it was. And so I'm wondering where this is going. Yeah. Why she stopped talking. Me too, Christy. Me too. (laughs) So sadly, that wasn't the worst part. In Jane's house, she had 11 to 14 animals. (laughs) She had a bearded dragon, a rabbit, a cat. What? Wait, dragons aren't real. This woman's crazy. The dragons aren't real. You lost me, ma'am. You lost me. It's a a war that's happened before. It's a a, a good story. You love lizards. It was a lizard. I love lizards. I like reptiles. Because you're cold hearted, cold blooded. Okay. 11 to 14 animals, bearded dragon, rabbit, cat, four adult dogs, and a, and a litter of pups. Wow. wow. A litter of pups. Wow. Ugh, God, like, I, I can picture it. Like this definitely. Like so I can hor- smell this house. Going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, 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 going yeah. on for sure. So while staying there, I always <laughs> piss and shit to clean up along with a mess of whatever was destroyed. An image. Why did they even? Oh, they needed the house sitter. They needed her to sit the house because of the animals, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Part, part of it, right? An Im- and imagine this having a headache from dehydration, caffeine, sugar. So she just wasn't doing well. She was not thriving. Because you only had a little chip bags and a Dr. Pepper to drink. During the second day, my brother was going to come back and take me home. But Because, I mean, really, he would have needed to, right? But he gaslit me. People throw that word around. Yeah, sometimes they don't know what it is. He gaslit me and my parents, and he never came to get me. That is pretty He was saying the pipes. Get a taxi. Get the out of there what oh no 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 no! you couldn't get anything this is how bad oh, it was yeah she why? was then basically why she like that he snowed get her. in but he couldn't get her why is she mad yeah well maybe he you? could this guy he works at an auto body so he probably had access to a truck did he have access to chains for his car because everybody uh, knows they that's need to- true yeah. they might not have had him so he was saying that the pipes were burst but they had turned off the water for his apartment building i don't know you got to get your sister bro after getting food from bucky's this is where okay, this is all coming where it comes together yep after getting food from Bucky's gas station, Bucky's saved the day. Did it? Yes. That's not over yet. Yes. And getting home, she finally got home. I showered after days of not having one. She probably used the Bucky's bathroom too. She was probably like, Bucky's, I love you. Right? I'll tell you what. The first meal that I had after Snowpocalypse was P. Terry's. Mm-hmm. And that's a local hamburger place. It's mm-hmm. like our in and out mm. And so I know what it was like after the sm- snow apocalypse to have a place to go to because lo- nothing was open. Mm-hmm. So the fact that Bucky's was like open and yeah. like ready the trusty, to serve. Trusty, P. Terry's, every time we like go by, I'm like, oh, I remember what that felt like to like come here after I needed them. Okay, so that's the side. That's the side note about Bucky's. During the time while house sitting, I had many, many, many anxiety attacks back to back because honestly, it was f- terrifying it was a very terrible like it was nobody like texas for some reason we had no understanding of how to deal with this so i blame my brother and his wife for all the 
I dealt with. Side note, during the time my brother and his wife were telling me this, and she said, and when we take you there, you can pay for the gas. <laughs> At Bucky's. <laughs> At Bucky's. One, they never took no me to the house. No one's doing well in this family. I just and have to I say wasn't that going no to one pay is them. doing well. Yeah. <gasps> After they volunteered me to go and do this horrible job. Aww. And for those who are going to ask about the money, I was told like 150 or 200 So I'm pretty sure that my brother and wife were meant to house sit up and pocket the money while leaving me dry. For a service I did for his coworker, Jane, and new hubby. So I'm only posting this and asking because... Family think that I'm crazy that I don't talk to him because of this. <laughs> well, I mean, do you, what do you think? Listen, no, no, this no, story has enough. this story has a lot of holes and needs an editor. Okay, but um, what are the holes? I don't know. Maybe it's the way you read it, but like, <laughs> yes, it was the way I read. Maybe, it. <laughs> maybe it's a little choppy. <laughs> um, I mean, also, I do have trouble following along sometimes, but. I don't know. It's just you like there's I want to hear his side. Right. Like I, I don't really necessarily believe her on all of this. I wasn't there for the so snowstorm, so I can't really relate. I feel like Bucky's was a small part of the story, which is disappointing. Um, <laughs> it was a big part in her heart. I bet. I, I guess. I guess. What do I think? I think she should absolutely get over it. Family is everything. And they're really all you have. All that matters is your health and, and happiness and your family, your family and your health. And this is stupid. And it sounds like everybody's really struggling and needs to help each other way, way more. Like she needs to help him with his hoarding and his animals. Animals and oh no, no 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 it was his it was his friends see I knew I I knew I got the story wrong it's <laughs> okay. it was hard to follow it, it was, was his fr it's not his house basically he was he was basically using her to babysit this house instead of them because he had they to work to go on. okay he had to work okay, yeah yeah maybe like his... everybody's just trying to make it work everyone's kind of yeah struggling <laughs> yeah 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 I guess that's the thing is that. When your family is struggling, you can either be like, well, this is my line in the sand and then lose the, you know. They have to set up some sort of boundaries and say, listen, I feel like you don't respect my time and my energy. And here's what I'm willing to give you. And but I can still love you. Essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I wonder if the brother me, but... like knows and like misses her at all, you know. Oh, I I know. I know. I just, mm -hmm. I know even with the worst of families, like you think about them, you talk about them. It's a constant. You, yeah. You, you wish it was better. You just do. I don't talk to two of my sisters and it breaks my heart every day that I can't, but it's like, I knew. How long has that been? It's on. been years Ooh, now. Oh, Christy. But I'm very, well, I'm, I may, I may go see him on soon, but I, I know wow, my boundaries. I love that you're so casual. Like I haven't seen him in years. I might go see him tomorrow though. Like, yeah. What? Yeah, right? Like I'm, I was like, going. Right? I'm traveling back home and I might see one and others out of town. Okay. I do keep tabs okay. of them. Okay. I keep tabs of better. their health. And yeah. like if something was serious, I would definitely try my best to like be like, hey, can I, can I, is there anything I can do? But I think like as we get older, she seems a lot younger. She's, she was 20 and 21, 2021. So she's like 23. She's young 20s. Okay. And you're right. Oh, it's hard to set boundaries with your older siblings. Yes, yes. It's hard. Yeah. Wait, you're the youngest, too. I'm the youngest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever fought with your sisters, or do you feel like you've ever had to stand up for yourself? I mean, uh, nothing that I can... I know that sounds crazy, but nothing that I could remember. Nothing, like, big. Yeah. We really help each other. But, you know, we're able to. We have time mm -hmm. to. We have the resources and the money right. to... And they don't have... And that sounds like they were struggling. On top of that, it was the snowstorm. So yeah. I think but all she, in all, she should, she's not like a jerk, but she should probably try to grow past this with him. Yes, for her sake. Yeah, no, that was, I think they'll get over it. Yeah, that was such a good story. I mean, I love that she came to us for advice, yeah. but you know, we're not therapists. We're not doctors. If you want therapy, if you need a doctor, you know, go to Bucky's. It has everything. It has everything. Absolutely everything you need. By all means, just go to Bucky's.